Hey guys, welcome back to my videos. So today, I'm gonna be checking out some Greenville updates that never happened. Kind of like the videos I did with the future update reviews, but not really in that specific term or that type of video style. Instead of that, I'm gonna be reviewing 10 planned Greenville updates that never happened. So if you do know been doing today's video, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and smash that like button. We are currently on the road to 25,000 subscribers, so if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, by the way, ignore the Sue. It's for an event I went to, so just, just ignore it. Anyway, let me hop into my Model X and let's actually go and check out update number one. Update number one, we have to go all the way back to 2020, four years ago. The first update I have is the lifeguard update. I already made a video on this. I don't know if you guys have seen it. It's almost a year old, but I did make a video on this basically explaining my thoughts and theories of why this update was canceled or really never happened and whether we could expect it in the future. To be honest, in my own opinion, after seeing that video be uploaded for almost a year, I think it's basically canceled at this point. I'm not going to go ahead and give that 100% guarantee it's cancelled but i believe at this moment it's cancelled in my opinion if they did end up cancelling this update i would not be that shocked the greenville lake isn't like gigantic to the point where you really need lifeguards i mean there's probably a few lakes around the world that actually have lifeguards which is a smart idea of course but i don't think it's a crazy needed thing I mean, yes, it'd be cool, of course. But now that it's like four years old as of the post, I don't think it's happening. But you never know. Maybe another five years we'll have the update. We'll see. Anyway, let's move on to update number two. For this next update, we're also going to have to go back to 2020, four years ago. All right, so the next thing we have here is the roleplay server menu. Before I actually check this out, this is not canceled. It's just never happened in the past four years. It's still going to be added, we just don't know when exactly, because this was announced four years ago. But they have been making posts about this. I've seen the post. There was actually quite a big post regarding the specific roleplay menu, but after four years, it's still not in game. As you guys know, OGRP does have their own menu, so if you do Control R, they have their own official roleplay menu. I think like a year ago, they added this little smiley face to the corner. And of course, you can't really click this user created section right now. But this has been here for about a year now and nothing has actually happened since. But don't worry, it's going to be added eventually. I can already guarantee that because they've been making posts regarding this. They made a post not that long ago. If I can find the post, I'll put it on screen. It's a pretty big message, so you'll most likely have to pause to read it. Anyways, let's actually not spend so much time on this so let's move on to number three driver's license this was teased around the fall so believe it or not we were actually going to get driver's license like a tool like down here where you have your phone kind of like something to use for interactive type of role play and that never got added and i don't think i've ever seen a post about that in a while probably since that post was ever made so i have no idea if this will still be added in the future I'm pulling up to the DMV right now because this would most likely be where you'd actually get your driver's license. Anyway, let's move on to update number four. This is GVOS Working Computers. And this is actually a perfect example. But a long time ago, I think in like 2021, 2020, there was a post regarding GVOS computers. I think this is going to only be exclusive for OCSO or for like law enforcement. So you actually have access to go onto the computers search up somebody's name like that but as of right now they don't really need that specific feature anymore because now they have a cat system if you don't know what the cat system is let me go over to the ocso station to show it but it's, it's something like this where you can actually search people's name and things like that there is a list of cars in the game too and yeah it's basically a cat which you could be doing this on a computer or something but now you have a CAD system, so you can just click the tool here. Oh yeah, that's the police CAD. So if you click the tool here, you get the wide view of the map, and you can track people with it. But as I said before, it's not a needed update really anymore, since we have a CAD system. Anyways, let's move on to the next update. We have new lake houses. So a long time ago, there were some new lake houses teased. It was either in the future updates channel, 
or on Instagram. I don't really remember. Anyway, in this post, there were some brand new lake homes. Not the ones we currently have in game, but some new lake houses. And well, they never got added. We still have the original ones and we never got a new variant of lake homes. Not really a crazy forgotten update. I doubt anybody remembers this, but I'm making it known. Anyways, let's move on to our next update. This one has two, so let's do it. We have semi trucks and motorcycles. This has been planned for probably since the revamp, but I can already guarantee you semi trucks and motorcycles are still being added in the future. Hunter has already mentioned this, so it's already happening. So the change is happening. They're just working on specific features for it to make sure it works and maybe an interactable job, you never know. An interactable trucking job would be so sick. And once we get semi trucks, that is going to be crazy. I mean, if semi trucks actually have an interactable job, that is going to be my go to interactable job. I can guarantee you that. And now, motorcycles. I made a video on this not that long ago. And in this specific video, I explained how motorcycles would work in Greenville with a Southwest Florida example and some other games. Some police motorcycles would be really, really cool. But so far, motorcycles have not been added to the game, of course, but it's still planned. Anyways, next we have a campsite. Yes, believe it or not, we were actually going to get a campsite. It was planned. I've seen so many role plays. One Pacific role play was over here, hosted in Truckville. They hosted their own type of campsite role play. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get into that session. But from the photos, it looked really, really sick. So we're just going to move on to the next update. This is the car test driving. Something like this would be really cool. Getting like five minutes to test drive a car where you're kind of unsure about the car you're about to buy. So testing it would be a good decision. And after five minutes, you determine that you don't really like the car and you sell it and not receive full price. And of course, it's also a good way of saving money. As you know, I'm kind of, yeah, um, I've been playing Greenville for so long now, and I'm probably one of the poorest Greenville YouTubers in history. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think $12,000 is pretty crazy for a Greenville YouTuber that's been going on for about 3-4 years. Anyway, final update here, number 10, we've got trailers. It's not 100% forgotten, but it's been planned for quite a while, I think since like 2020-2021. Hunter confirmed this about a few months ago. Believe it or not, he confirmed it a few months ago. So it's definitely still in the works. They're working on a specific way to make trailers work and also semi trucks, motorcycles, and things like that. They want to make sure it's 100% before they release it into the game. Anyway, that is 10 updates on my list. If I missed any, make sure to let me know in the comment section down below. I think those are the biggest updates I could find. So yeah, let me know your thoughts. Do you guys actually remember any of these updates? Do you remember them ever being posted in the future updates channel? So these updates are not 100% cancelled. They'll most likely be added in the future. We just don't know when exactly they'll be added. Because right now they're kind of forgotten. But don't worry, we still have time for these updates to be added to the game. But I think give it about another five years. Anyway, if you haven't already, make sure to go and hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and smash that like button. We are currently on the road to 25,000 subscribers. So if you haven't already subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button so we can reach our next goal. And yeah, Business Suits NZ Series closing off the video. I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next video.